ladies and gentlemen, without wasting any more time, let us again reschedule and restart the entire program of routine vaccination, particularly the adults. This is Professor Dr. Amitabh Nandi from Kolkata. Uh, I was attached with the Calcutta School of Tropical Medicine, uh, where from I retired as the professor and head of the department. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm uh, working on tropical and infectious diseases uh, research and practice in Kolkata. Now, all of us, we are aware about the fact that right now we are in the World Immunization Week, which started on 24th, that means yesterday, till 30th of this month. Now, ladies and gentlemen and my colleagues, needless to mention that the importance of vaccine is uh, not to be exaggerated much because we have seen the, the, the several diseases. We have seen how we eradicated smallpox through a very effective vaccine from the world. There are several diseases uh, for which vaccines are available right from the childhood to the adult. Like, say, for example, right now we have the very recent vaccination was for COVID-19. Besides this, we have vaccine against diphtheria, against cholera, against hepatitis, and blah, blah, so many things, including measles, uh, rubella, then hepatitis, and uh, more importantly, and I, I, I place this particular disease in a very important position, the rabies vaccine which has become almost a universal vaccination without, without uh, being put under the, under the uh, I mean, official uh, list. But this is so common. Now, uh, unfortunately, because of the pandemic situation, we are lagging a little bit in the development of the newer vaccines and its implementation in the human community for disease control. And we have seen several diseases, how we have been able to control and how we have been able to prevent deaths and severe morbidities by using vaccines. Without going into the, into the discussion uh, regarding the comparison of, say, uh, immunity developed through natural infection and immunity that is developed through vaccination. It is again, let me reiterate, that it is needless to mention the high importance and high value and efficacy of vaccine preventable disease related vaccination programs. So, ladies and gentlemen, without wasting any more time, let us again reschedule and restart the entire program of routine vaccination, particularly the adults. Some of the important vaccinations to name for the adults, particularly would be influenza vaccine and pneumococcal vaccine. Besides this, again, let me reiterate, I, I would like to put rabies in the same group as influenza and, uh, and, and uh, pneumococcal vaccine. Now, as we know that the influenza, as a, I mean the flu as a disease, has been occurring in different parts of the world since early of the 20th, 21st century, the first part of the 20th century. And there is a very important and a very successful vaccination which is currently available without any side effect, without uh, any, any, any complication in terms of the vaccination procedure and with high efficacy. Similarly, we do have vaccination against pneumococcal community acquired pneumonia. So, uh, particularly, this is very useful and you should practice, you should put in your daily day-to-day -day practice by convincing and encouraging people beyond 50 or 60 years of age to go for regular vaccination against community acquired pneumonia. Now, besides this, we have now uh, developed COVID vaccination, although there are several controversies, several issues related to COVID vaccines. But here, let me tell you that uh, like COVID, there are or there would be various other viral agents who very regularly change their antigenic structure 
through genetic modification of themselves, really leading to the need to develop every year a new vaccine candidate. And that is why the influenza, particularly the, which includes the uh, common influenza, common flu, and the H1N1 or the swine flu vaccine, that would need every year to be changed. So be careful not to use the previous vaccination against influenza, and you have to be very sure about the availability of the current strain of the vaccine and use them. Now, similarly, we, we, we do have other vaccinations for the adults, and apart from this, the adults, we can use uh, chickenpox vaccine, for ladies, particularly the rubella vaccine, and all these vaccinations can be given to adults. Now, although we do not have a regular, a well-lit immunization schedule, unlike uh, the, the childhood vaccination schedule, we do not have a very well-organized adult vaccination schedule, but there are few vaccination vaccine candidates which can be used. At the end, let me reiterate and let me again emphasize the need of vaccine against several of the very, very complicated diseases, very lethal and fatal diseases, and particularly, especially those which are epidemic prone. So, my colleagues, this is there without wasting any more time. Let us again restart and join hands together with the other colleagues throughout the world to get over all the vaccine-preventable disease, disease menace, and if not totally eradicate, at least to control to a sizable proportion so that all these diseases, they do not uh, remain as, as a very dreaded disease in the world. Thank you very much.